My name is Mario Solis Marich. Now it's time for the weekly news roundup from MyLatinoNews.com. Mm-mm-mm. That's the way to play it, guys. This is Mario Solis Marich, and this is the political menudo from MyLatinoNews.com. Mega escándalo brewing in the governor's race in Nevada. GOP gubernatorial candidate and anti-immigrant congressman Jim Gibbons was accused of having an ongoing business relationship with his undocumented Peruvian via the Mexican border nanny. The nanny is now a legal resident and has decided to speak out. Gibbons, who made a name for himself voting for tougher employer sanctions for those that hire undocumented workers, is said to have at times asked her to hide in the basement when his right-wing fellow compatriots came over. Gibbons, who voted against increasing the minimum wage, paid his nanny an average of $4 an hour. And in Califas, Orange County Latinos are still upset about the voter suppression letter sent out by the Tan Win campaign. Rumors continue to circulate about who really funded the letter and who it really was intended to benefit. Although suspected hate criminal Wynn was running against Congresswoman Loretta Sanchez, two state legislative seats overlap that district. Both the seats are very competitive, and both the seats are being led by Latino Democrats. This story has piernas. And the Los Angeles Times reported that the GOP is losing its gains that it made within the Latino community. It turns out, that the majority of the gains were led by Latino churches that apparently did not like the idea that the GOP House Immigration Bill would have made them felons for helping poor undocumented workers. Hey, I thought the right wing liked us for our moral values. This is Mario Solis Marich, and this was The Political Menudo from MyLatinoNews.com. <laughs>